Thanks for joining us tonight at 7. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. Tackling youth violence. It is a huge responsibility that many in the community have been trying to commit to. WMER 2 News' Brittany Verner spoke with some school leaders and young professionals in our community about the work that's been done and how all of us can join in their efforts. Brittany? Yeah, this week Edmondson High School is mourning another loss of a classmate, student, and friend after 16-year-old Andreas Moreno Jr. was shot and killed in East Baltimore, Northeast Baltimore. This is the second Edmondson student to be killed by gun violence so far this year. Now people are trying to rally around these children and help change this violent culture. Some of the issues are the, the, the victims are younger. The younger and some of the acts of violence that are impacting our children are more heinous, heinous, and it's, it's very tragic. Two shooters began to open fire. January 4th was a day that shocked the entire community after five Edmondson Westside High School students were shot across the street from school. 16 year old Deontay Dorsey was killed. It's always tragic to lose one person, but we're losing children too frequently now. Within this first month of the year, more than a dozen teens throughout the city were involved in some type of shooting. And on February 5th, another Edmondson student, 16 year old Andres Moreno Jr. was killed in Northeast Baltimore. Carl Perry, who's the principal at Edmondson, says the violence involving youth has recently become more problematic. People want to leave Baltimore City now. They're afraid for their young boys and their young girls to venture outside. Sadly to say they should be. I am as a father. It's why young professionals are now stepping in to mentor kids and understand them better. So a lot of kids actually said the reason why we're acting out is because no one is listening to us. They're feeling as if the community is not rallying behind them because they're not getting the support at the PTA meetings, at the sporting events. So now when they go into the community, they're just acting out because they feel like no one kids, there's no one to have that back. DJ so Flo, who's a Morgan State University said, alum, has a nonprofit yeah, called Flo and Friends helping to shape kids. He jumped in to spread love to the students at Edmondson following the shooting, claiming the life of a classmate. We uh, attack anti-bullying, anti-violence, and also emotional learning. So we kind of leave them with a sense of confidence that they don't have to um, be scared to voice their opinions. I just felt that, you know, it was very important to, you know, just give those kids kind of a uh, sense of uh, care, like someone that cares for them. So it wasn't more of me like preaching, it was more of me being an ear for the kids. Alvin Gray, who's a local film producer and director, is another one with a mission to help young adults. His idea for a workshop involves using art to potentially help shift the violent culture. I came up with the idea, stop shooting, start shooting, uh, due to a unsettling amount of violence happening here in Baltimore, Maryland. I believe that everyone has a story to tell. I felt like maybe a solution can be uh, maybe we stop shooting with the guns and actually just start shooting with cameras, telling the story through the lens. And although Edmondson is not the only school whose students have been involved in violent incidents this year, Paul Principal Perry, Perry believes Paul if Perry everyone is more that. proactive in their efforts to positively influence kids, it could begin to impact the future of our young adults for the better. It should not take an act of violence or a tragedy such as we've been experiencing um, across our city for people to become active and involved in helping to save our youth. It can't just be the educators at the forefront saving our youth. Everybody has to become involved. You know, Brittany, we report these stories day in and day out. How can we and other people in the community get involved in, in the conversation and changing the culture? Great question, great question. Well, first, actually getting involved by volunteering your time to speak with and listen to the children. Reach out to the school, see what mentor opportunities they have available. However, the principal at Edmondson says there has been some changes to the school's daily functions following that shooting in January. During that incident that injured four and killed one of their students across the street from the school, the students were on a lunch break. Principal Perry says students often complained about the cafeteria food, so they have added other options for students so they don't have to cross the street to get food. Perry also says the kids understand them now when they constantly express how dangerous it is to leave campus. When we say it's dangerous across the street, don't leave the campus during the school day. They believe us now. So our culinary arts department in the other building has started bringing food over here to sell in the cafeteria. We've been getting food trucks to come on our campus all school year. 
So now we have two dedicated days per week where food trucks are uh, coming across the street. In addition, one vendor across the street is willing to take orders and deliver the, deliver the lunches for the children over here during, the, during their lunch period. So that's been the biggest change. But our children are resilient. They're survivors. It hurt, it still hurts, but they know they have to continue to survive. But that's what you have to do as a Baltimore, child, Baltimore City youth. You have to continue to fight for your freedom and fight for your, your future and survive. If you are someone who wants to get involved more with helping the youth and to influence them in our city schools, visit our website at WMAR2news.com.